<laughs> but you see, if you got some money, you can lease some love, which is true. So if, uh, if a girl got money and somebody said, yeah, you see, you look at him and say, well, he got a cute, ain't no such thing. <laughs> but he got money, he saw the cute. <laughs> that, we know some people like that. <laughs> and, 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 and know two things about it. Uh, when Brett don't have no money, it's called, he's crazy. He got a lot of money. He's the same thing. I would usually have Tony up 12 inches long and he's a big hair. See, same thing. Crazy, these centuries are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, but Brett ain't got no money. It's simply when you got money. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I believe in the zeroing out theory. You see what, sir? The, the zeroing out theory of money. One day you just you got to figure out how to get down to zero right before you die. Well, one thing you have to learn. Okay, how much money you get? If you ain't got good health, three things in your life you really need that really need really that good health, a few good friends, good and some money. You don't have to have a lot of money. Then you got it in the right perspective. Good health. That 99% of a uh, few good men which you might not have enough down on one hand and a small amount of money. That would make life complete. If you leave Chicago go to New go to New York, you don't have what I just mentioned. In New York you do you no know, good at what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't like New York. New York could eat you alive. If you ain't got good health, but you ain't got nothing. No, that's and she's all about the good health. Uh-huh. And try to be. Some people take good you know, good health for granted. It can be temporary. It can be friendly, it can be, it can, you can lose it all in one time. But see, I appreciate the good health. I'm 76 years old. You are so not. No. I appreciate it. You're 50. Well, I, if I was 50 with the knowledge I am, not here to me the first night, because I'd be hard to get along with. <laughs> <laughs> and young women always get in here, Cowboy, are you married? And no, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> mess with me all the time. You gotta, uh, you gotta give us your card or your number so I can call you for a ride when I need you. You live in Chicago? Oh yeah. Well, I give you my card. All right. <laughs> fact, you, you, can, you got a phone, put it in your phone. You, you can call me right now, put your number in. Your phone. What, what is it? We'll throw it in here right now. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm too slow. Good to die. Yeah. There you go, 312. It's right down here. Wait, what's your name, Mike? 312. Cowboy. Cow okay, Cowboy. 613. Four eight one two. Three one two. Six one three four eight one two two. Now dial the number right now. Four eight one two. Right. Okay. Okay. Hold on, she's gonna save it in here real quick. Dial it right now. That's all we tell the cousin. Dial the number. We get. She gotta save you in the phone. Hold on, and then she's gonna I'm call you. I'm very slow. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not on my my phone all the time like uh, most girls my age. Where's your favorite part of the city to drive through? Any part that, 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 that appreciate what I do and give me a lot of money. <laughs> Even the worst neighborhood, as long as they appreciate me and give me some money. So this cab is very, very expensive. Yeah, I can't All imagine. Right, I'm calling you.